Okay, so I'm going to be talking about uh, INSD, uh, the instant digital superpower that your clients will love. And uh, INSD really is an amalgamation of two words, instant digital. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how INSD came to be. So INSD was founded by myself and my co-founder, Nick Esterhazen, back in 2020. Um, my wife was going through uh, a number of medical treatments at the time, and um, oh, I just grew increasingly frustrated with the amount of paperwork uh, that surrounded uh, you know, all of these treatments. And uh, it just went on and on. Uh, and uh, a lot of it was PDF based, uh, hence the little PDF picture there. Um, but there were other forms of information gathering, a lot of it repetitive and uh, a lot of it not mobile friendly. And quite often I found myself doing the admin late at night and, you know, you ended up having to crank up the laptop to go and complete a, a form. And uh, I just thought, this is crazy. I can't believe our industry is, is still operating like this. And it's not just the medical industry. It's it's banking, it's insurance. There's numerous other industries that have this, this challenge. And uh, so I started looking for a, a digital forms solution. Um, both Nick and I were, were talking at the time. Uh, he'd just left uh, uh, Western National as head of underwriting there, and he and I were just throwing some ideas around. And we spent several months looking at various solutions, but many of them uh, were very consumer focused. So you can think of Google Forms and, and the like. Uh, that's great for a little anonymous survey, but doesn't really cut it when it comes to uh, legislated environments and, and where, uh, you know, Data sovereignty is incredibly important. Understanding where your data is being kept, how it's being managed. Uh, is your data living in a data center in Silicon Valley and potentially being mined? Uh, so all of these questions were, were top of mind. And uh, and and so, yeah, we, we kind of went through a checklist and we looked at various options and eventually decided, you know, we're going to have to roll our own to tick all these boxes, uh, which is what we did. And so INSI is a, it has a very narrow application, uh, typically between the client and and the business, and the business just trying to uh, acquire information. But true to our our name, uh, it's all about instant digital. Um, I think the other frustration we had was that uh, getting a technology solution into a business just takes an inordinate amount of time. And really, what we wanted to do is cut that out. We wanted to cut out the the tech build phase, the tech testing phase, and get to the business uh, exploration and experimentation phase. Because as a business, um, you know, you learn through a series of experiments. You, you you put something out there, you test a new product, you want to get feedback, and that's what we wanted to help our clients with as quickly as possible. So so that's how we designed INSD, get, get it up and running, uh, literally uh, in, in within a day, uh, in some cases, uh, obviously, business office often has to catch up and get their business processes in place. So in real time, you're quite often looking at four to six weeks, uh, looking looking at the experience we've had with our clients. But in all cases, it's been uh, them being able to focus on their business and what they want to achieve rather than being uh, uh, hamstrung by the tech. Uh, oh, just the last thing to mention is also just the level of information complexity. As we know, uh, on the insurance front, there's lots of information that has to be gathered, and uh, and and yeah, many many of the technology solutions out there start getting uh, incredibly slow when you start building out these these massive um, insurance forms. Do we need all these massive insurance forms? Uh, potentially not, but at the moment. Uh, many of our clients still need a lot of information. Okay, so we have two offerings. I'm just going to talk about the digital forms platform today. Uh, and and again, given the the time frame, it's going to be a very quick introduction. Uh, we also have an online calculation engine, uh, which gets used as a rating, uh, like an online rating engine. And, and again, it's instant digital. Um, uh, 
yeah, so I won't go into all the details on that, but uh, it's incredibly quick to get that up and running. So we've been operational for about three years now. Um, we've got numerous client scenarios to pick from, so it was quite tricky to, to choose a few uh, just to talk to today. But I think these five will just um, serve to highlight a few key features. Um, there's three underwriter-related scenarios, um, one un underwriting manager and two insurers, and then two broker-related scenarios. So I'll quickly just talk through these. So um, on the um, underwriting manager front, uh, it was an underwriting manager who needed to keep their digital forms in line with their changing underwriting requirements, and they needed to support a broker-based information gathering process. Uh, and as you know, um, quite often uh, physical forms, PDF forms, et cetera, get out of step in terms of versioning uh, once they're out in the market, uh, whether they're at the client or at the broker, and, uh, and they needed a solution to solve that. Then we had an insurer who needed to quickly get to market with a new group scheme insurance offering, and um, and and they were under time pressure there, and they also wanted visibility into the user engagement. We'll talk to that. And we also had an insurer who wanted an easy to change, easy to use property survey tool with specific information security requirements, and we assisted them. And then there was a broker wanting to upgrade their claims uh, claims form experience and needing secure mobile digital forms technology uh, for that purpose and lastly a broker needing a solution for a large client who needed to manage insurance for a large mobile workforce okay so hopefully um, you will see something of interest in these five scenarios okay so um, i'm going to be using a fictitious broker called out of this world insurance brokers or OOTW, uh, just for purposes of this demo. But um, this is typically uh, what what you'd be confronted with when you are given uh, an INSDE link. Um, you'd land on a landing page, and it's um, obviously mobile-friendly. I'm pointing that out just because of some of the frustrations we've had uh, in the past. And uh, and and that's that's obviously totally custom. That That's... Uh, that would have uh, your your business logos would be customized to your your needs there um and again very importantly is uh every single user of these digital forms gets identified right up front uh, and th and that is that is key that's a key difference to to the typical anonymous uh forms technologies that that are that are out there okay so let me um just show you quick uh wait before i go there let's just just jump to the next slide Apologies, there we go. So I'm talking to this scenario, which was that broker wanting to upgrade their claims form experience and needing a uh, secure mobile digital forms technology as part of that. Um, so client experience was was their big focus and NZD happened to fit perfectly into that scenario. Um, they'd also been trying a variety of international digital form solutions and they were getting increasingly frustrated by how complex it was to set up and also just the fact that those forms got slower and slower as they added more fields to it and um, obviously they needed hiding and showing of of sections and fields they didn't want any logins and the user should be able to stop and start uh, and uh, stop and continue later so those were some of the key requirements from their side so let me just show you quickly, uh, here's a typical um, INSDE form once you've gone into it. This one is uh, a needs analysis, it's just an example. I mean, we can set up any anything uh, and it, it's also not, it's industry agnostic. Uh, we're talking insurance today, but but INSDE itself is in industry an industry agnostic tool. Um, there's, uh, you know, all, all the typical details that you'd want to ask for these. So we've got different groups uh, which are represented by tabs at the top here. And that just helps make uh, a big unwieldy uh, form a lot more um, a lot more palatable to the end users. And of course, there's the 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 showing and hiding. So um if if I say I'm interested in buildings insurance, you see the buildings tab appears. you know, so there's that kind of 
that kind of experience. And again, no, no developers involved. This is something many of our clients uh, do self-service and, and manage, manage this themselves. And there's, um, you know, you could set up various rules to drive those kinds of things. Um, you can see it's fairly straightforward, makes a lot of good use of the screen real estate. Um, we've got uh, history keeping, so we can see, so I logged in as Albert Einstein. Um, so I can see Albert Einstein uh, potentially filled something in there. Um, you can add additional comments. So, uh, you know, please explain, please explain uh, this uh, field. And, and those comments come through to, you know, from your client to yourselves and, and it just makes it a whole lot more interactive and um, less static. There's, there's too many times you're filling in a form and you think, oh, should I be filling in this or should I be filling in that? Should I mention this? Should I mention that? This just makes it a whole lot more interactive without having to resort back to email. Um, and, and now your email conversations and your forms are not, are not uh, within context anymore. Okay, so um, I won't go through all all of the the various uh, aspects of these forms, but that gives you a sense of how that works. And uh, no logins; it's all OTP driven. So yes, there's user identification and verification, but you don't have to remember passwords or anything specific like that. And because of that, you can also get back to that form and 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 load it up. So. Um, this link here at the bottom, this particular scenario is um, based on a broker called Chadwick's and um, they've actually done a very nice interview uh, where they discuss INSDI and how INSDI has worked for their business. So feel free to make a note of that link or I can even post it in the chat afterwards or, or Brent, you can post it. Um, it's Thanks, yeah, so it's just on our INSDI.com website. Um, slash video slash chadwicks.mp4 and you can get the the whole interview with Tim Chadwick um, and and his experience in terms of using the solution. Um, INSDI also lends itself to easy sharing via social media. Uh, there's various ways that you can make those links available to your clients. It can be one-to-one -one personalized links or it can be general links available on your website. Um, and 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 it, you know if you do share it, it comes up with your business logos, you know, so it's got, it's got that branding. It looks great. Quickly moving on to the next scenario, uh, the insurer wanting to go to market quickly with a new health insurance offering. So to be more specific, this was actually one of the big four banks in South Africa. Uh, they really had a, uh, they, they had a, um, a health initiative and a health insurance initiative. Should, should I say it was very time sensitive and, uh, yeah, they couldn't get the the IT teams to rally behind this quick enough, and uh, and and we stepped in, and we managed to get this set up for them uh, very quickly. Uh, they wanted their own, uh, you know, self service capability. They wanted to be able to. They were dealing with very large uh, companies, so they wanted personalization for their clients. Uh, they wanted engagement visibility, and of course, they wanted that data in South Africa, and we could tick all of those those boxes. So again, um, I'll just quickly show you the the admin platform. Um, let's just go, I'm just trying to move this uh, box at the top here. Maybe I can get to it there. Okay, so um, every NZ tenant uh, has got access to, to the admin platform and there they'll be able to set up uh, templates or access templates that our team can set up. So we've, we provide a fully managed service in addition to self-service and, um, and one can then go in and go and look at these, these various templates. And they, um, so that digital form we were just looking at now is just represented in, in this kind of rows and columns format uh, in, in the admin console makes it very easy to you can because it's almost like Excel. You can just literally copy and paste sections of, from one template and paste it into another, and off you go. And and that's why it's just so much quicker for for many of our clients just to just to get going and to mix and match different form components uh, without uh, you know all this drag and drop that one often gets on on other form builders. This thing is just very pragmatic, and uh, and our clients love it. Uh, so you can preview, um, let's just go back there. And um, yeah, so so that's that's the self 
service aspect. And then let's go and quickly look at the at the engagement side of it. So um, what I can do is just look in the last hour and just see, uh, let's, make it, let's make it six hours and just see who's been engaging with our various forms. And one can see um, in many cases, you know, uh, people have gone and viewed templates. Uh, Albert Einstein, he was the one that I was wanting to look at. Yeah, so let's just go to old uh, Albert uh, Einstein. There he is down there. I can see he submitted the landing page, he looked at the template, uh, hasn't submitted it yet. You know, so very quickly you can get a sense of uh, whether whether your your clients have engaged with this or not. And then um, on the dashboard, you can also go and see um, who has been submitting information, how they've been submitting it, um, who's been viewing it. Uh, so you really got a lot of insight into the engagement. Um, there you can see various things that have come through motor and property claims and needs analysis. And um, and you can also see ratings. So, so users at the end of the experience can actually say, hey, this was great. Easiest online form I've ever filled in. No, that's great. This, <laughs> I must, uh, must have paid that person to do that. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, rating three, three out of five. Form was quite long. You know, so you, you start getting a sense of what's actually going on. Quite often, you just don't know what frustrations your your clients are dealing with and industry just just makes it a whole lot more visible okay so uh let's get on with it uh so that's the dashboards and um and next is yeah just a broken eating flexible and scalable solution for a large client who needed to manage insurance for large parcel delivery driving work driver workforce so this is one of the biggest parcel delivery um uh, companies uh, in south africa and this broker actually managed to secure that client because uh, they presented INSDI as a solution to, to managing the insurance for those drivers. And there's, there's tens of thousands of these drivers. Um, they needed to be onboarded very quickly. And, and what's great is, um, so they created QR codes, which they put in the different uh, uh, depot uh, areas. And these drivers could scan that and and um, on board and sign up for various uh, insurance offerings. Uh, they had to securely upload their driver's licenses. And um, this client also wanted a launch page with multiple links to, you know, so there's one uh, one entry point, one link, which expanded out and, and gave the drivers access to a whole lot of different products. And they also wanted elastic scale. Um, this broker wanted this, this scale because they said, well, when these drivers come on board and when they renew, it's just it's going to be tens of thousands of 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 um, uh, interactions with the platform, and uh, we are cloud based and uh, handled. Ha we've handled uh, we onto our third renewal this year, and yeah, we handle it. Uh, so it's a walk in the park, should I say? So it's uh, that's gone well. Um, I just want to quickly show you so just the information upload, and I am. Uh, I'm just trying to see, Brent, how do I hide this little bar at the top? Or am, am I the only one seeing it? Or it's kind of... Um, oh, well yeah, I, can, I can just drag it, but now it's probably blocking everyone else's view. Huh? Can't see it at all. Oh, you can't see it. Okay. No. So it's just the Zoom, it's the usual Zoom bar. At the top. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one being bugged by it. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> that's great. Um, so, so, for example, so... Um, INSD just loading up uh, uh, information like driver's licenses, or in this case, I'm just loading up an image uh, for um, a claims form. Um, you know, there's there's a bit of uh, machine learning uh, kind of um, uh, functionality here. You know, car front damage immediately picks that up, um, and I can I can also extract text from the image. So let's say um, I can see the number plate there. And um, I'd like to just just grab that. So I just click on it. Boom. There you go. I've got it. I don't have to type it in. I can obviously check it. It could be VIN numbers. It could be. Um, so with the surveys, some of our clients actually just take photos of the fire hydrants um, uh, because the key thing there is the expiry date on their fire hydrants. And um, and now and now they can just do the image recognition um, just on their phones. You know, they just they just go in there as they're uploading it. Click on it. Just grabs the expiry date, and and that can be used. Uh, a downstream. Okay, so let's just give you a sense of some of um, some additional Insdi functionality. Um, okay, 
let's move on. Uh, then, yeah, as mentioned, we've got launch pages. So landing pages, you can land on one particular digital form, uh, but we can also provide launch pages to our clients, which gives them access to, to a whole lot of um, a whole lot of forms. I just want to see if I've got, uh, I think I've got one open here somewhere. Just quickly go in. There we go. This is out of the world insurance brokers, their launch page, and uh, you, is various information and yeah, you can access, go and access those forms directly from there and in you go. Okay. And what's great about that, you can also use it for uh, raising awareness with your clients and cross selling and, and that type of thing. Okay. Um, getting there, second last uh, scenario, an underwriting manager uh, needing to keep their digital forms in line with the changing underwriting requirements and support a broker-based information gathering process. So those INSD templates are completely versioned. You can roll back, roll forward um, that, that INSD uh, manages. And, um, and those uh, templates, those form templates uh, get automatically upgraded. So as, uh, you know, as long as the, the broker's got the latest, uh, has got that particular link, when they go in, they will get the latest version. Uh, what's also nice is that brokers have got visibility into the process. Uh, there's a, there's a, a place in INSD where they can they can log in, they can see client engagement, even if they're not an INSD client themselves. And uh, and there's broker reuse across insurers. Because so INSD generates a uh, INSD provides the um, data that's gathered to the client business in, in various formats. Uh, can, it can be delivered directly in, into OneDrive for business. Um, it's, it can be del delivered in CSV format, JSON format. Uh, we also create a, uh, a PDF report of all the fields that have been filled in. So that's a, that's a nice auditable uh, report of exactly what's been filled in. And, and that can obviously, from a broker perspective, can be shared uh, to different insurers, um, you know, if it's something like a quote request, for example. And then just the last scenario is um, that survey tool that uh, an insurer uh, needed. And um, and again, I've just showed you briefly how you upload photos. It's very easy to do it from a mobile phone. It also automatically obtains the geo coordinates. And um, you know, one of the one of the uh, challenges was in the beginning. The surveys, were, oh, this is great. We just upload photos, and they didn't add any commentary. Uh, of course, we can enforce certain things and say, no, this has to be filled in. You need to provide a bit more detail, yeah, and um, prevent download of data. So, we've got, um, uh, or at least our our um, clients have got control over who who gets to see what. So, for any any particular um, template they can go in and they can go and set up um let's see if i need to log in here again oh sorry it's timed out let's go back there again uh yeah so so for any particular template and its links uh one can go and set different things you know is authentication required data included in emails submissions are downloadable submitters can request a copy of the submission you know so there's there's lots of like fine Secure security fine tuning that one can do when using uh, this platform. Okay, and I think I think that's it. I know it's just been a little, little, uh, a quick, quick glimpse into the world of INSD. Um, you can reach out to us at hi at insd.com or joel at insd.com, and we'd be more than happy to yeah give you uh, uh, or understand your particular needs and take take it from there. Okay, thank you very much.